Before Microsoft introduced Link into the C-sharp language, Array actually had several functions, methods, whatever you want to call them, that did the same thing that Link does. And I want to examine them side by side here. Some of these Array functions are probably obsolete, but we can look a lot, we can learn a lot by comparing them side by side. You see here, I have an Array of ints. Okay, I could write a for each loop here, int i in ints, constant right line i, control F5, and you see that I have all the integers printing in the exact same order that they're stored in memory. That's one way to print all the ints, or I could use arrays built in for each function. Notice it's a static function. I have to pass in ints, and then I have to pass an action here. Action is a delegate. Go watch my videos on delegates if you want to learn more about delegates. But essentially, I need to pass a method here. I want executed on every single element inside of ints. So I want console.writeline executed on every single one of my ints. Notice I'm not invoking writeline. I'm simply passing writeline for this delegate here. Control of 5, and you see I got the exact same result as I did with my original loop. I don't like the fact that for each is static. What I want to say is ints dot for each console write line. To my knowledge, there's no built-in method that will do this. So we can make our own. We'll make an extension method. I have videos on extension methods if you want to learn more about them. But essentially, I'll say for each this int array ints an action that takes an int. It's a generic delegate here. I also have videos on delegates and generics if you want to brush up on that. I'll say action and then in here we'll just, actually I can just move my for each up here. Control X, Control V, I'll give it a line there, Control KU, uncomment that, and then I want to execute action on every I. So action right there, and look at that, the red squigglies went away because now I have my own extension method. I could pack this extension method away into a class that I reuse all over the place. But Control F5, I get the exact same result. And now I'm not bound to just write line. I could throw a lambda in here. I can say, hey, ints, for each of the ints, I want you to execute a lambda expression instead. I have videos on lambda expressions if you like. And I want to say console write, not write line, I plus a space here and take out the extra semicolon. So now I've just changed this from right line to my own little custom method that I'm passing in here. I will go in for action and we'll execute action. Control F5. You see the output's a little bit more friendly there. It's all in one line and it's nice and spaced. I can also modify this for each to not operate on just ints. I can make it generic and say let's do any array type We'll operate on any array element type, and this has to be a T. I have videos on generics as well. Sorry, delegates, lambdas, generics, extension methods, all thrown at you in less than four minutes. But the result is the same, and I can actually change these to doubles if I want. Double, and double, or maybe I want to change them to cow classes or whatever I want to do. It doesn't really matter, but now this changes the doubles quite nicely. There you go. So that is for each. Hopefully that's a little whirlwind tour of many things you can do. I'm going to change this back to int, change this back to int, and we'll change this back to a 9.